All right, well, clean my shoes to begin with. Yeah, do it, girl. That's easy. Oh, my God. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. We are so happy that you are here to watch another video. It's me, Jack, and as usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a real-life story video. Today's real-life story is about a spoiled rich girl who learns a hard life lesson. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to humiliate. Next are to get out of hand and to handle. We will continue with to make fun of somebody and to be willing to do something. The final word is a long way to go. Okay, let's watch the video. Oh, finally, come in. Where have you been? I called you ten minutes ago. I knocked on the door. I guess you didn't hear me. Oh, no problem. Look, how is it? I liked it very much. That's it. Now we'll hear you every time you come near us. Miss, I think it isn't right. Put it on, now. Yeah, dude. Well done. This is my hotel. If I want to, I'll make these bells a part of your official uniform. You got it? Wow. All right, well, clean my shoes to begin with. Yeah, do it, girl. That's easy. Oh, my God. Hey, what's going on here? Dad? What was going on, huh? What were you doing? Yelling, humiliating employees, destroying property? What is this? What was going on? Dad, I had nothing to do with that. That maid just got out of hand. She was rude to me. She's a maid, and that's unacceptable. I think you should fire that brat. Brat? You're calling her a brat? Unbelievable. And besides, what were you doing in a suite at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Why aren't you in class? Why aren't you studying? College is on a break, Dad. You know how tired I am. Elisha, and I just wanted to relax and have a good time. You call this having a good time, huh? Ah, uh, Jess, I've spoiled you, and you've been taking way too much time off recently. It's not like that, Dad. I'm studying all the time. I don't have the energy for anything else. All right, if you think you're such a specialist on how a maid should behave... You're going to work as a maid in this hotel for a month or two. Dad, is this a joke? No. I'm not doing it. You absolutely are going to do it. Otherwise, you're not going to see any of my money ever again. Not a single dime, do you understand? Is that what this is about? You're setting conditions now? All right, I've got one too. If I do well, you let me take your gold card. Okay, deal. What are you staring at? Just don't forget your gloves. These chemicals can harm your skin. I don't need your advice. Okay. The new guest will be checking in in half an hour. Are you going to make it? The candle wax spilled all over the floor, and I can't get it out. The aftermath of another romantic dinner. Those crazy couples. I can handle it. Let me do it. What are you doing? It's hot! Look, it's gone. I'll clean up here. You serve breakfast. There are two orders. One for rooms, 4, 12. The other, 6, 13. Okay. But go to 4, 12 first, because Mr. Baxter needs to take his medicine with food. Uh-huh, okay. And then go to 6, 13. But no toast, because she's on a diet. How do you keep it all in your head? Being a maid is not only about cleaning. My job is to take care of people.
Whoa, Jess. Guys, Jess is dressed up like a servant. First of all, I'm not a servant. I'm a maid. And secondly, I didn't dress up. I'm working. You? Work? All right, stop messing around. I'll clean it up and go. Go? On your knees, servant. You know what, Alicia? Get out of here. This is my hotel in case you've forgotten. I'll tell your father that there is no break at school. Yeah, I think he will be surprised that his lovely daughter was expelled six months ago and spending her education money. So shut up and do what you do well. Hey, you. Come in. I'll cover for you. Go. You forgot your accessory, Jessica. How dare you? Uh. Hey, Jess. I'm so sorry. I made fun of you. I was lost, but I'm not like these guys anymore. Now get out of here. You're not kicking us out? Because I will tell everything to your father about college? Go ahead. Tell him. He deserves to know the truth. I hope you do. Now you better hurry up before I call the security. Because the hotel security just loves throwing people into the bushes. Don't... Hey, who's going to drive me home? Hey, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Dad? I heard you kicked some people out of the suite. I take it you lost the bet. Yes, I failed, Dad. Not only with this job, but with my whole life. I've been humiliating, insulting, and lying to people. Even to you. Dad, I got expelled last semester. I should have told you the truth, but instead I just took all the money and wasted all of it. I'm so ashamed. But I'll get a job, and I'll pay you back every penny that I took from you. I promise. I'm proud of you, honey. Proud? After all I've done? Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. That's not what makes us bad people. What makes us bad is not willing to fix those mistakes. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be the manager of this hotel, but you have still a long way to go. What do you say, huh? Dad, thank you. I'm glad that you believe in me, but... You know, I think there is someone else who deserves this job better than me. She practically lives here, and she taught me so much. The hotel is so much better because of her. And I think I'll just stay with this part-time job as a maid and go back to college. I still have so much more to learn. Honey, we all have so much to learn. I love you. What was going on, huh? What were you doing? Yelling, humiliating employees, destroying property? What is this? What was going on? To humiliate. It means to make someone feel ashamed or stupid, especially when other people are present. The examples. Her boss humiliated her in front of all her colleagues. I've never felt so humiliated in my life. Dad, I had nothing to do with that. That maid just got out of hand. To get out of hand. It means a situation or a person gets out of hand, they become impossible to control any longer. The examples. Things got a little out of hand at the party and uh, three windows were broken. He went to see his doctor because he felt his drinking was getting out of hand. Those crazy couples. I can handle it. Let me do it. To handle. It means to deal with, have responsibility for, or to be in charge of something. The examples. I thought he handled the situation very well. If you can't handle the job, I'll get someone else to do it. I'm so sorry I made fun of you. I was lost. To make fun of somebody. It means to make a joke about someone or something in a way that is not kind. The examples, don't make fun of me. The other children were always making fun of him because he was fat and wore glasses. What makes us bad is not willing to fix those mistakes. 
to be willing to do something. It means to be happy to do something if it is needed. The examples. They need an assistant who is willing to stay for six months. You said you needed a volunteer. Well, I'm willing. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be the manager of this hotel, but you have still a long way to go. A long way to go. It means a lot of work to do or improvements to make. The examples. He's learning to play the piano, but he has a long way to go before he can play a whole song. They have a long way to go to improve their relationship. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. If you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you want to continue to learn English on our channel, please subscribe. And then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments, so tell us what you think. See you in the next lesson.